Chipping, cutting, and clearing that mess left behind by an EF2 tornado a week and a half ago. That twister came out of a very strong storm system nearly two weeks ago, left a lot of damage across mid-Michigan. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Thanks for joining us tonight. One of the hardest hit areas was along I-96 between Williamston and Weberville. Dozens of large trees along the interstate were snapped like toothpicks. News 10's Aaron Bowling takes us there. With flattened cornfields and flattened trees, the cleanup for Ingham County's August tornado is far from over. You need to be here to see it yourself. It looks like a combat zone. It's just the trees and everything are shredded down and they're all over. Billboards, power lines, road signs and trees are just some of the debris littering the side of I-96 between Williamston and Weberville. Which is a hazard, a safety concern. If a car were to leave the roadway, it's a large amount. It's a large magnitude, so it's it's quite overwhelming, but uh, our crews are pulling together to help one another, which is so awesome. Despite their big orange trucks and signs like this one, a majority of the cars driving by today were going well over the speed limit. When you have these cars that are zooming by you at 80 miles an hour, well, you know, we all have the same goal, and that's to make it home safe. With around 40 crew members on the side of the highway for the next few weeks, the Michigan Department of Transportation would like those driving in the area to slow down, and move over because it is scary out here and it's dangerous. So just uh, keep that in mind as you're driving by and you see our workers working to clear the remaining and extensive damage one branch at a time in Williamston, Aaron Bowling News 10. And with crews from around seven different cities, they expect the cleanup to go fairly quickly. MDOT estimates it could take around two weeks.